This is example 3.16 on page 117 of your textbook. In this example, we're going to learn how to use a chemical formula as a conversion factor in a problem. Um, this is a skill that you might need later in the semester, um, so we're going to practice with this. So the full question reads from your textbook. I just have an abbreviated version um, on this slide. Is that hydrogen may be used in the future to replace gasoline as a fuel. Most major automobile companies are developing vehicles that run on hydrogen. These cars have the potential to be less environmentally harmful than our current vehicles because their only emission is water vapor. One way to obtain hydrogen for fuel is to use an emission-free energy source, such as wind power, to form elemental hydrogen from water. What mass of hydrogen in grams is contained in one gallon of water? And then they go on to give us the density of water is one gram per mil. So we're going to be using density as a conversion factor in this problem. We're going to be also using the actual formula for water um, as a conversion factor, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So in this problem, we are given one gallon of water, and we're trying to find how many grams of what of not water of hydrogen are in that water. So the con the concept for this, the game plan is to go start in gallons and then we need to get into the metric system because that's what we use in chemistry. So we're going to use a conversion factor to get from gallons to liters. And then in order to use our density, we need to convert from liters to milliliters. So we'll use the equivalency for liters to milliliters to do that. And then from there, ultimately, we want to end up in grams. So we're going to use water's density to go from milliliters to grams. And that's specifically of water. Then once we're in grams of water, we're going to convert to moles of water using its molar mass. You might think, well, if we're already in grams, why are we going to moles? Well, the question is not asking us for grams of water. It's asking us for grams of hydrogen. So before we can get to grams of hydrogen, we have to get to grams of water, then convert to moles of water. After that, we can use the formula to go from moles of water to moles of hydrogen, and then from there, we can finally convert into grams of hydrogen. So this is going to be a long um, conversion step process to get starting from grams of, of water to grams of hydrogen. So some conversion factors I'm going to be using. Um, there are 3.785 liters in one gallon. And we know there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. Draw a separating line there so we don't get confused. We know that there Density of water is one gram per mil. We're also gonna need the molar mass of water. So let's go ahead and calculate that. Molar mass of water is gonna be two times hydrogen's molar mass plus one times oxygen's molar mass to give us molar mass of 18.02 grams per mole. We're also going to need to utilize the formula of water and that formula basically tells us H2O 
means that there are two moles of hydrogen for every one mole of water. And that two comes from the formula. That subscript two next to the hydrogen means there's two moles of water in every mole, or sorry, two moles of hydrogen for every one mole of water. If we were to do it for oxygen, it would be a one-to-one. -one. one mole of oxygen is contained in one mole of H2O. And then finally, we're gonna need just the molar mass of water, of um, hydrogen, not water, which is 1.008 grams per mole. That's for hydrogen. <coughs> so let's go ahead and start solving this problem. So we're looking for grams of hydrogen and we're given one gallon of water. So as I use the conversion factors, I'll cross them out so we know that we're not going to use them anymore. So step one, gallons to liters. And I've already miswritten that should be gallons, sorry. There we go, okay. So step one, gallon to liter. So I'm gonna use my conversion factor right here. What I wanna cancel goes on bottom. So one gallon is equal to 3.785 liters. Gallons cancel, now I'm in liters. Next step, I want to go from liters to milliliters. So I'm going to use 1,000 mils is 1 liter. So what I want to cancel goes on bottom. 1 liter is 1,000 milliliters. Those cancel. Now I'm in milliliters. Next step is to use my density to go from volume to mass. So one milliliter. Remember that milliliter on the bottom has an understood one next to it. One milliliter has one gram of water. So now mils have canceled. Now I'm in grams of water and I want to be in moles of water. So this is where I'm going to use my molar mass, this guy right here. So it's grams per mole, so it's going to be 18.02 grams of water in one mole of water. So now grams of water has canceled. Next step is to go from moles of water to moles of hydrogen. And this is where the ratio between the element and the compound comes into play. So remember, in every mole of water, I have two moles of hydrogen because of the formula H2O two meaning two moles. So what I want to cancel goes on the bottom. This is going to be a conversion factor. One mole H2O is equivalent to two moles of hydrogen. Moles of water cancel. And now that I'm in moles of water, I can finally convert to grams of water. So the molar mass for water, or sorry, for hydrogen, is we just looked at the periodic table, 1.008 grams per mole. So that's my last conversion factor. What I want cancel goes on the bottom, one mole hydrogen, and then on top, 1.008 grams of hydrogen. Moles cancel. <clears throat> and I'm left in grams. So this is a very long conversion factor problem, 
all to get to grams of hydrogen. So now I take all the numbers on the top, 1 times 3.785 times 1,000 times 1 times 1 times 2 times 1.008, and then that divided by all ones on the bottom and 18.02. And your final answer <coughs> should be 4.23. Times 10 to the second grams of hydrogen. Or another way of writing it, 423 grams of hydrogen. And that is your final answer. So that's how you use density and formula and molar mass all in one long problem.